Good morning, CCHS. I'm Kari Flute. And I'm Michael Carmichael. And this is your Morning Rundown. Happy late Black History Month, Cougars. CCHS had the opportunity to host its annual Black History Month program this past Thursday. Our assistant producer, Coy Bankhead, had the chance to interview one of the head coordinators of the program, Ms. Heath, and here's what they had to say. Good morning, CCHS. I'm with Bankhead gathered alongside Ms. Heath. Ms. Heath, we just want to know some thoughts about Black History. The first question being, what does Black History mean to you as a whole? Um, black History means to me upholding the standards that our ancestors um, set for us, also sharing our st stories with others within and outside of our race. So just making sure that we are living the dream, keeping the dream alive, and doing those things up with us. So did your family, like, did your family keep you big on Black History? Yes, um, involving the NACP, um, just doing things, community service, um, as you know that I am a part of Alpha Capital Students Incorporated. So we are very big on service all the time. The next question be, with the group you picked, with the group of students you picked in the rehearsal going on all week, do you feel like they met the expectations that y'all have for them? I think that they exceeded the expectation of the phenomenal school. Uh, show. Um, performance by all. We had to change some things on the fly. You guys did an awesome job just being there, being flexible, and I think we have got great reviews. Yes, definitely. Thank you. I'm glad you said the performance. What was your favorite part of the Black History Program? I think just seeing, this is hard to just pick one aspect. Um, definitely just seeing our students showcasing their talents in a variety of ways from the recitations to the dance to the music to the uh, people that had speaking parts, the inspirational thoughts. Just overall, you all did an awesome job. Well, she said, just that's all for the great interview for today. We would like to make sure you stay tuned until next time. Go for this. Go for this. Did you go to the Black History Month program? I did not. I was at home. Okay. See, I support, that's, that's though. I support. Nah, nah, it's okay. I support. It's about that time of year again. Broadcast held its annual community cleanup at Crosby Lake this year, and it was a huge success. Here's reporter Angelique King with more details. Hey Cougars, I'm Angelique King with CCN TV, and today I got to sit down with the head and coordinator of CCN TV, Chris Campbell, about the past community service event on February 24th, 2024. And this is what he had to say. If I'm being honest, it wasn't even about so much about giving back to the community or anything like that. It was more so of just showing the world what our students are capable of, just showing the city what type of students we have here in Clay Chalmers High School. It was more so of a get her done and showing how my students are leaders. So yes, we went out and did an amazing job, but I really wanted to highlight my students who really curated the entire event. So all the shine goes to them for taking a stand. Is there any students that you'd like to pick out and call out about them? Absolutely, Kaylin Oden is my EP. She definitely does her thing every time. Um, and rallies the students to make sure they're all on board. And just in my entire intro classes, I have three intro classes this year and all of these new students. I mean, after being with me for two months, they all came out and really supported. And of course, my e-board team, you guys, um, Michael Carmichael, Corey Bankhead, everybody a part of the whole team. I love you guys, so I appreciate everybody for coming out and really holding it down. To close it out, I was just wondering, do you have anything planned for the future for students that Clutch Out Live? Uh, right now, we're going to focus on credentialing our students within the broadcast program. We offer professional credentials in Adobe Premiere and Adobe Photoshop. So from here on out, we're going into overdrive with editing just to get our students prepared for the credentialing test this April. So that's my main focus right now. And I mean, next semester, who knows? You know, our talent show is a big thing that we do every year, and we're excited to bring that back. But you never know with Mr. Campbell, so you just got to stay tuned. All right. This is Angela King with CCN TV in the halls with you. Broadcast is big on showing appreciation to those who work hard for us in CCHS. Here are supporters Jacoby Burt and Cameron Cook with our student and teacher highlights, Kamaja Seals and Mrs. Hall. Shout out to Ms. Hall, man. She yes, really deserves it. Yes, deserved. Hey Cougars, this is Jacoby Burt here with CCN TV. And right now I'm with Kamaja Seals, who happens to be Senior of the Week. So Kamaja, tell me what's your work ethic when it comes to school and how do you find time to separate time for your personal life and what you got going with yourself at school? My work ethics are to do my work in class, work bell to bell, and also do camera work in class and just get stuff done like that. 
has photography always been your passion? Is that something you've always been you're working towards or is that just something new that you picked up? I started getting into photography when I was at the end of middle school. I got into it by getting into yearbook in the middle school in eighth grade. Yeah. And I just liked it ever since. I'm Jacoby Burt with CCN TV in the halls with you. Hi guys, I'm Cameron Cook here today with CCN TV. Today we're interviewing Mrs. Hall for Teacher of the Week. Okay, so Mrs. Hall, how does it feel to be nominated for Teacher of the Week? Oh, it feels like an honor and a privilege, and I want to thank um, Ms. Campbell's broadcasting team for nominating me to be Teacher of the Week, even though Coy says he did nominate me. Uh, <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for the honor and the privilege. All right, so today we're gonna start you off with a couple questions. First off, make a no promises. So, first off, how does it feel to come into the classroom just ready to introduce your student to some new and get them energized for the moment? Um, sometimes it's kind of nervous depending on how they react to what's going on because I teach physical science. And physical science deals with a lot of math, and I know kids really don't like math, so I kind of have to make it fun and interesting for them in order for them to be accepting of that content. And how do you, what 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 drives you to come to work ready to learn and ready to learn more about your students and every day? So it's all about the vision, Miss Babe. No, let me quit playing. <laughs> so <laughs> Um, first of all, I know that our next generation is going to be literally our future. So I believe that you all are our next engineers, our next doctors, our next lawyers. So in order to prepare you all for the future, I have to give you all the building blocks to go and prepare you guys to take over the world. So last question, how, I want to know your thought process on teaching physical science. My thought process. Like, what what made Ooh. you want to teach physical science? So, I love science, period, because I'm a problem solver, I'm a critical thinker, and science is my passion. And when I was given the opportunity to tutor children in order to pass the Alabama High School graduation exam, which was long before y'all turned back in 2005, I decided that teaching is my passion. So, any type of science that I'm given the opportunity to teach, whether it's life science or physical science, I'm going to do my best to give the students that knowledge. I don't care what kind of science it is, not just physical science. Well, thank you very much. That's all the time we have to, for today, folks. I'm Cameron Cook. This is Ms. Hall, and we are done. Greetings, juniors. I had the opportunity to sit down with one of the administrators of the ACT being taken on March 12, 2024. Here's what she had to say. Hey, Ms. and Ms. Dr. on the ACT. The ACT is a great foundational tool that can be used to catapult you to whatever direction you want to go uh, in this life. Hi, I'm Cari from Broadcast, and today I'm here with Amy Murphy, and I'm the instructional coach here at Clayton High, and I've been helping Dr. Hilson with the ACT pullout, helping juniors have the opportunity to get better results when they take the ACT in two weeks. Okay, thank you so much for introducing yourself. Please tell me, how can us juniors prepare for the ACT? So one, another thing you can do is if you're pulled, the uh, ACT pull out, we're using your results from your CERT. Some of you have made wonderful scores on the CERT, and we're just trying to help you improve those scores. Some of you, your scores are a little um, in the median, in the middle, and we're trying to help you get better so that you can maybe get a scholarship or get into the college of your choice. Thank you so much. Have you taken the ACT? Yes, I've taken it multiple times. Are you satisfied with your score? Yeah, I'm not taking it. Don't blame me. Student drivers love showing off their cars. We had a chance to get an interview with Wyatt Fitzhugh in the parking lot. Here's him with more details. Hey Coos, I'm Wyatt Pitts, and I'm here with Jaden Stone. And we're doing a new segment. We're just going around looking at cars. 
the best of the best. You know, something that fun for y'all. So Jaden, tell me what, what we got right here. We got a uh, 2013 Honda Accord, all white, with blacked out windows and tires and backlights. Right. Y'all might not know, but this car go for 50K. <laughs> Line. All right, so how bad is one of these? It goes to like 160, but you know, I be pushing past it. Just leave it. Wait on And so, yeah, we're going to get it inside. In honor of Women's History Month, we wanted to take a chance to highlight one of the girls' organized clubs at CCHS, Girl Talk. Here's our executive producer, Kate Odin, with more details. Why don't we have a boys' talk? I mean, a barbershop talk. Okay, but y'all do have no, that. Well, where is it at? At the barbershop. No. no okay. <laughs> it's where it's at. Hi, I'm Kate Odin from CCN TV, and I'm here at Miss Bates. Today we're going to be interviewing about Girl Talk. What inspired you to bring light with Girl Talk? All right, so here at Clay Jungle High School, we have a very big community of girls. Um, some girls who may not have mother figures at home. Um, so what we do it is a mentorship for young girls. What exactly does Girl Talk do here at Clay Jungle? With Girl Talk, we brought in different um, guest speakers. We first, our first guest speaker was Miss Green, and she came in and talked everything girls. Um, she talked about those feminine hygiene things that people are not really comfortable with talking about, um, things that people aren't sure of. We also have had a fundraiser. We give the girls those things that they need in the restroom. So those are a couple of things that we've already done so far this semester. How can we strive to create a better world in Calabasas? Oh goodness. Um, firstly, I would say um, love who you are, love the skin that you're in. Um, encourage one another as we are. Um, encourage, be a friend, and be a listening ear to others. How does one join Girl Talk? Great question. Um, so there's a whole application process when it comes to joining Girl Talk. You must first have a teacher recommendation. You must have a certain um, grade standards, and you must tell us a paragraph about why you want to join Girl Talk, followed by the interview. I'm Kate Lillian, and I'm in the halls with you. And last but not least, we are proud to announce that CCHS is bringing in a new career tech program. And if you like drones, this might be for you. Here's senior editor Malik Cook with your inside scoop. Hi, I'm Malik Cook from CCN TV, and today I'm going to be interviewing Dr. Dallas about the new drone program. So, Mr. Dallas, can you tell me about the new drone program? Um, I'll tell you when I um, came from here, one of the first things I always said I wanted to do was be able to offer the kids and play talk with high school and other opportunities. And doing some discussions with some people um, before the um, opportunity came to us program that would be intriguing for the students here. And um, when they brought the idea of drones, I said, yeah, my kids would love it. And so it's a program, basically, um, you'll be introduced to the workings, inner and outer workings of drones, how to fly a drone, and then hopefully when you reach that advanced level, um, and you graduate, you'll have a certification where when you go to the military and do one or two years, you can get that six-figure salary. So it'll be like a multiple program, it's like an intro, uh, introduction level and then an advanced level. Yes. So at what level do you think they would already be flying drones? So we're going to start here on um, this upcoming school year at the beginner level. Um, and then we're probably going to have a more intermediate course going into the spring. Um, hopefully we also get a um, drone team together that will compete nationwide. And then also will help our kids get scholarship money as well. Also, oh, there's a huge scholarship for people who know how to work in fly drones. Oh, yes, yes, uh, especially in, in the age of cybersecurity, um, the military. Um, I have a great friend of mine, and he's actually on the Air Force drone team, and that fly a lot of military grade drones overseas. So, there's a lot of different opportunities on the drone. That's great. What, uh, who do you think you're going to assign as the head choreographer for the drone classroom? Um, that question, you know, is already to me several times. Um, that's something I have to vet and make sure we get the right person in here for it. Um, but with anything um, in regards to personnel in the building, I have to do um, 
I have to have multiple meetings leading up to spring break and after spring break to see how many teacher units I'm allotted for the school year. And then I'll be able to make a determination on whom I can have, whether internally or externally, um, oversee that program. Okay. Looking for the interview. You heard it here first. Play Chopville is getting a whole new drum program starting next year. Do you like drums? No, I don't like drums. Why not? I've never had one, so I don't like them. Right. This is Kari Flute. And Michael Carmichael with, with your, your morning, morning rundown. Have, Have a good, good day, 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 day. day.